This better not be ugly, bro, because I'm going to be so tight. Hey guys, it's your girl Yorelis and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to try out a new product that I've been seeing all over Instagram and even on YouTube. It is the Curl Smith Hair Makeup. So if you're thinking about dyeing your hair, this is actually a great way for you to test it out to see if you would like it. I did pick up the color copper and the color ruby because I wanted to mix it up, try these out together. I'm actually pretty surprised that they don't have as many colors as I thought they would have. I think they only have like four colors, but you know, this will do. And I'm also kind of disappointed that they didn't have like a, like a purplish color because I would have liked to mix the ruby and a purple shade. I think that would be like a fire color. I don't know if you guys know this, but a really, 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 really long time ago, <laughs> I used to have like purple hair and you couldn't really tell it was purple unless I was like in the sun. You know, I'm not someone who really dyes their hair. I used to dye my hair all the time, like when I was teenage years. <laughs> so, you know, it's been a while back, but you know, your girl ain't that old. I'm in my prime, so and can't nobody tell me nothing, okay? <laughs> So yeah, let's jump right into the video. I seriously hope that I do like this. If not, whatever. It's temporary. It does wash off right away. So let's jump right into the video. So of course, this is going to be hella messy. That's why I'm in this section of my apartment. That way I'm like literally next to the sink so I can like rinse my hands. I don't have gloves, so Lord be with me. It does say on the packaging that you don't need gloves. It does say it's transfer resist resistant <laughs> for all hair colors no gloves needed rinses in one wash so we shall see also says to apply a leave-in conditioner to keep your curls hydrated protect clothes with a towel during application i'm also going to use a um what you call this a dyeing bowl right color bowl yes color bowl um you can pick this up in the beauty supply i'm pretty sure amazon has these and a brush so i'm going to mix them up here and then apply them to my hair so i'm gonna go ahead and divide my hair all right you guys so i divided my hair and now i am ready to start the process i also have mixed up everything in this bowl like i said before it looks pretty cool it looks like a like a golden color speaking of golden i'm gonna use this um ogx sorry my chair is like really noisy gonna use this ogx combing cream i love this leave-in conditioner so i'm gonna go ahead I, I like to have some ready for me on the table so I don't have to be keep squeezing. <laughs> Gotta be efficient here. Got my spray bottle, you guys already know from shopnoblis.com. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair. All right, you guys, here goes nothing. I'm gonna start applying my leave-in. <laughs> this is mad copper. All right. I definitely see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. That looks fire. You guys see? This is cool. Especially like um, Halloween is coming up. This is like a fun thing to do for Halloween. You wanna be like a character or something. You can easily um, do this. Or if you're someone who doesn't get dressed up like me, but like if you get invited somewhere, you could just easily come as yourself and then do like a fun color in your hair. Yo, this is fire, I like this. This is where it starts to get really scary because we're all the way in the front now. Please don't be ugly. That's all I have in my head. You guys know that um, TikTok, please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please. All right, you guys, here goes nothing because we're on the top part now. This better not be ugly, bro, because I'm going to be so tight. I'm going to be so mad. Like, I should have just stood with the red. I'm getting a phone call. You guys, so now that this side is getting dry, I can definitely feel that there's a hold. So that's good news. And I'm also going to apply a little more on my roots. All right, you guys, we're doing the bangs. I'm definitely gonna mix 
some bread right now. I'm just wondering how long it's gonna take for my hair to dry because this is so much product. Oh my God, you guys, I got it all over my face. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to show you the back of my hair. This is the progress. It definitely looks way better after I had added more red to my hair because I wasn't feeling like the whole copper. But it looks really good. Oh my god. And it looks really hydrated too. See, I see. I see some spots where I could have put a little more. But overall, I think I did a pretty good job. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you guys so i am back i you know fixed my makeup a little bit and um i dried my hair as much as i could it took me more than an hour and a half to dry my hair which was ridiculous i was getting really impatient and i even fluffed up my hair when it was still a little bit wet so that's why a lot of it got frizzy but you know so let's talk about it so this is how the hair color looks let me zoom you in as you guys can see my hair is super defined i will say that this is the side that got mostly frizzy but you know it's okay and then this is the back so yeah you guys this is how my hair looks after all of that that we went through now i will say that once my hair was dry and i wanted to fluff it up give it some volume you know give it some shape my hair was super hard it was so crunchy that it took me a while it took me a while to get the cast out i still have a lot of cast in my hair and because my hair had a lot of crunch i had to use my pick to like really try to like stretch out my curls and when I was doing that, you guys, when I tell you my hands were orange, even my chest was orange, it still kind of is. There's a lot of glitter in this and I didn't realize. And it's all because of me just trying to like fluff up my hair and, and break up the cast. So if you are going to try it out, you definitely need to look out for that. Like you're going to have a lot of products on your hands, on your clothes, on your sink. It's even on my bathroom floor now. And it's just really messy. One thing I do want to point out too is that I'm due for a haircut. So my hair does look a little uneven, especially like on the, the ends. So what are my final thoughts on all of this? I really like it. I think that it's fun. Now, do I necessarily lo love this color on me? <laughs> no, it's not my favorite color. Um, it does look pretty. It's, it's fun for a day or two. I'm definitely going to wash this out in a few days because I don't think that I can take myself seriously <laughs> walking around with this color. It's like... I feel like I'm looking at someone else right now. And it also could be like what I'm wearing too. Like it probably just doesn't go well. It's kind of like clashing all together. Other than that though, I think it's so fun to do. I do love the product because it gives my hair a lot of definition and a lot of hold, which is really good. Like I said before, this is like really fun for Halloween or if you just want to try out a hair color and you're not really sure if it's going to look right on you. So instead of dedicating to like a full on dye, you could just get hair makeup and you know, you can really see how it's going to look on you. So yeah, I definitely encourage you to try it out for yourself to see if you will like it. So yeah, you guys, I low key want to change my top though, like just to see if I truly like this. All right, you guys, I changed into a white top. I'm someone who wears white all the time, so I actually feel much better looking at myself now. I feel like I look more like myself. And you guys, you know what's funny? When I went downstairs to show my family like how my hair looks, they were like, why did you do that? Go back to your natural hair. <laughs> my mom did like it. She was like, oh, it's cute. She's like, but I think you will look better with like more of like a violet red. And I said the same thing. I was like, oh my God, I said the same thing in my head. I'm like, I'm more of a red violet girl, you know, like a purple red. I think it will look so much better on me. You know, my brother said it didn't look bad. He was just like, I prefer your natural color. I prefer my natural color as well. I don't think this is something that I would, you know, commit to. <laughs> I'm very curious to know what you guys think. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think of this color on me. Like, do you like it on me? So yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. So please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one. And of course, don't forget to glow.
Bye.